The Art of the City are from Tetsuya Nomura, a game series featuring all the main Final Fantasy cast into an epic battle. Today we're going to look at the official character art and illustrations from the City of Duodesim, NT and Opera Omnia. The story surrounds a war between the God of Light, Cosmos, and the God of Darkness, Chaos. Both parties have called up heroes from different worlds to do their bidding. While all characters have their own unique situation, the original Warrior of Light is the main leader of the group and will have to take up arms against his nemesis, Karlanth. Even though Tetsu Nomura is responsible for the design of a third of this cast, he did a great job in translating the works of Yoshitaka Amano and Akiko Yoshida into his own work. The characters have all the trinkets, accessories, ornaments and the believable facial expression expected for the personality. The art style uses a vibrant color palette that is eye-catching but not too oversaturated, which could make it cartoony. In this case the balance is well preserved and we'll look at the shadows and highlights. He mainly uses three elements to do so. By overexposing the arm with highlights, the clothes have a bright but soft tone as it absorbs more of the incoming light. Moreover, he uses U-shifting to create more warmer and darker toned shadow. Because our eyes naturally focus on bright and warm colors, as a side effect, all these three elements will draw us through the upper body, where the head is the main attraction. Just for fun, you can see the difference between him and Roy Yoha. Both drew a mature version of lightning, different color and shadow style to get similar effect, making the right side a bit more cartoony. The line art uses different types of strokes, mostly soft and curved with some thick lines in between. Although I could find some concept art of Nomura's work during development, unfortunately there is not a lot. This also goes for the illustrations. In the sense of composition though, he loves to draw his hero characters to the right, facing towards our left, with the villains doing the exact opposite. This is a traditional way of how Japanese theater lets the protagonist and antagonist and to the stage. And yes, in the West it's the other way around. Ever wondered why the battle scene looks like this? Now you know. His chibi characters are literally miniatures of the bigger ones, in posture, basic style and design. Although this might come across a bit cheap or simplistic, I can't blame him spending as less time as possible on such a big well established cast, especially when he's extremely busy with other IPs as well. That said, his scoring choice does fit nicely with his chibi style. Therefore I think he also chose for a rather more realistic proportion design. Instead, for example, a fluffy pillow cloud like in World of Final Fantasy. As always, Yoshitaka Amano did the logo designs for the three main entries. They all show the Goddess of Harmony and the God of Discord opposite of each other. The city in Latin means disagreement, so it kind of fits. Moreover, he made full blown works of both sides, light and dark. Concept art that showcases the first 10 main title characters. Furthermore, guest artworks were created for promoting the city and the fourth anniversary. All these Square Enix artists were involved in a main or spin off Final Fantasy title and other well known IPs. I fancy that not for other GP folks. Art aside, it still amazes me how Square Enix screwed up the city on a freaking console. I mean, where is 1v1? It's the most common option ever. But more of Nomura or Final Fantasy, I got you covered.